Hi, this is Dan, product manager for Akai Professional. I'm here to show you MPC Renaissance. This right here is a MIDI controller, software interface, and audio interface for Mac or PC. Uh, this is bringing the laptop MPC workflow. Uh, for a long time, music has been going more and more in the box. Uh, now people are just writing songs on their laptops, you know, you can get on a plane, your studio is right there. So basically anywhere where you are, the studio is there. So what we wanted to do is bring back the workflow and the sound that people have been missing. Um, and that's the philosophy of MPC Renaissance. This right here is our MPC software. You can drag and drop, you can drag and drop samples right onto the pads. You can auto preview your samples. You can load sounds to different pads. And then these knobs here are controlling the 16 cue links here, but whatever page you go to on the software, these controls, these controls are mapping to that software. Like for instance, I go to here, I can jump down and you'll see this bracket here. This is showing me what these are controlling now. I'm controlling this knob here. I press this button here. Now I'm controlling, the, now I'm controlling my filter over here. These knobs, whatever page you go on, these knobs are actually gonna change to allow you to edit right from the controller. Now, when you go to, you go into sample editing, you can see. I can go on the controller, I can pick a waveform. Uh, let's pick something that's got some sound, got some content to it. And what we can do is, now I can chop using the controls right here. I can control my threshold right from here. I can control my threshold. And I can also go and move to individual chops. And I can control individual chops just by using these controls here as well. Now, everything, the UI is really designed so 90% of what you're doing, you can get down right here on the main controller without having to touch the screen. You know, it was really important for us to make sure that the workflow was preserved and that everything could be done from the controller or at least 90% of what you could do would be on the controller. Um, let me just tell you a little bit about the outputs. Um, the MPC 3000's output circuitry going up to our A to D converter, um, we're using the exact same circuitry as the MPC 3000. Uh, we're using a modern A to D converter. Now, using this vintage mode here, we can emulate the sound of the MPC 3000. So what you're emulating here is you're emulating the old A to D converter, it's a 16-bit A to D converter. Also, it had a slight dip in the EQ curve around, um, around 17 kilohertz. Um, gives it a little darker sound, also a little bit of a compression as well. You can also change this to be MPC 60, which then it's a 12-bit system. And this is changing the output of the audio of the system. Um, and then other, this will be a growing list of different products that we can put in there. You know, we can do things like SB1200, tape compression, things like that. Um, and the cool thing is uh, you can also, inside program edit, you can also have four insert effects per pad. And in those insert effects, you can say, okay, I want the MPC 3000 sound on my kick, the MPC 60 sound on my clap, the MPC, and then whatever sounds I want right here on, um, on whatever sound I have loaded there. Now, that can be any of our 44 effects. It can also be, it can also be any VST effect as well. Wow. You can load VST, effect, uh, VST plugins to a track. And when you load a VST onto a track, these knobs become auto mapped for that VST in, pro, in their program editing page. So you get 96 controls of, pro, of, uh, of um, VST editing as well. So a quick question I've got sure. is, sure. Um, is that if you don't have your MPC uh, hardware with you, can you still do programming and stuff on the yes. computer by itself? By the software, the yeah, the software works without the controller. Um, you know, you just use your mouse and keyboard. Uh, it does work without the controller as well, yeah. That's really hot. And also vice versa, like you can do a lot of stuff on your MPC, but obviously not the VST stuff, right? Well, this is not a standalone. This is not a standalone. Oh, okay, so it's not a standalone. No, no this, oh, is okay. a, this is a controller, audio oh. interface, and software. Okay. The brain is your, is your right. computer. Okay. So okay. now so, the advantage of that is that now I have an MPC with eight gigs of RAM. Right. You know, and people are in the box using their laptop anyway. This is now giving them an MPC that works integrated with their laptop.